Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus Summon Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, uh, we are going to continue our exploration. Um, however, a couple of things. First of all, right after I left you guys go, I realized there's a cave here. Um, so let's pop this open real quick. And um, also, several of you responded favorably in the comments about me building a base here under the waterfall. So one thing I want to confirm, though, I mean, this wouldn't... I guess this wouldn't stop us from doing it, but I want to see if we are in fact protected from the weather under the waterfall. Because just because we're under the waterfall doesn't mean the game considers it sheltered. Um, so we won't really be able to tell that for sure, probably until another storm comes along. So this looks like just yield cave here. But it's kind of nice to have a cave right in our right in our backyard of our base essentially decent sized cave Ooh, what is this coal damn burn it that's like the least desirable deposit it's too bad that wasn't iron or something more useful but it is what it is right okay let's go back through here finish killing these guys off so yeah i mean if we started building here We'd have a nice supply of ore right off the bat, man. Very nice. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I, um, I'm just curious, like I said, to see if... Uh, why am I so heavy? Oh, because we picked up all that stone, right. Uh, if if underneath the waterfall is you know protected from from the storm, so I guess what we need to do is wait until a storm comes along to determine that. And so what I'm gonna do is just trying to think. I, I'm kind of I'm a little bit limited on on time because I'm actually gonna. Uh, today is Saturday the 18th, and I'm actually going to be doing an Anikras live stream here in about 30 minutes. And, <laughs> gesundheit! Um, and what we're going to do, it, as a matter of fact, is uh, it's, uh, I'm going to play with my community multiplayer, and we're going to actually start some sticks missions, because uh, other people want to do that, uh, besides just our open world multiplayer. And the advantage for, for me personally is that we can get to the Zephyr mission, which I think is the... We can get to it... We have to do two preliminary missions first, uh, or prerequisite missions, I should say, to get to Zephyr. And then I want to do Zephyr, so that way we can just unblock that the passageway and make getting around easier for us here in the Open World series. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. And um, you guys, of course, will see this episode after that occurs, but hopefully you'll see the notification and can come and hang out. Uh, Saturday afternoon here on a live stream. Looking forward to it. I've been so doggone busy with work lately, and I think I've told you guys this, that I've had, you know, I barely had enough time just to, just to, you know, keep up with the Let's Play videos, let alone do a live stream. So, finally have a little bit of time to do that. So, looking forward to it. All right. Well, I guess what I'll do then is just kind of go putz around a little bit, I suppose, until a storm comes. You know, it won't take long. You know how the storms are. And uh, when it does, I'll bring you guys back, and we will confirm whether or not we have shelter inside of here. Oh, you know one other thing I was thinking? Uh, we don't have anything anywhere near what we need to build a water wheel, but this, this certainly looks like running water here. I mean, it, it is running water as far as the animation, but will the water wheel see it as running water. I'd really like to know that. Another thing that I was thinking off camera is that if we could build a if we could build a ramp uh, or a stairway structure or a ladder or whatever up to there, if there's room up there with running water, then maybe what we could do is, is put water wheels up there. Because that would be fantastic if, if we could just have a huge network of water wheels to provide all of our power. Let's just go over here for a second and see if there is a... Yeah, 
I just can't really tell from here if A, we can get up there at all, and... Two crocs sitting right there. Nasty. I mean, I'm sure we could probably get up there as long as we don't run into weird glitchy terrain stuff. But is there like a, enough of a platform up there to where we could set a water wheel down? And then what we'd probably have to do is build a, a build a, um, for lack of a better term, a, a tower out of foundations or something up there to then run the wiring down to the to the base underneath the waterfall. But that would be really cool if we could do that. In fact, tell you what, let's do this. Let's um, let's hop on two here, and let's go back out this way and get get a little further out. And see if we can uh, again make that determination. I'm not gonna aim. His aiming doesn't work. Level 50. Oh no, we've been level 50 for a long time. We just got more points. I forgot. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. You know, I talked a little bit too about building on these islands oh, another freaking crocodile and we could still potentially do that too I mean we can do whatever we want man there's no limitations baby this whole map is our oyster we can do whatever we want um okay so it it certainly looks like from here that there could potentially potentially be platforms up there that we could get up to and set, um, you know, set down some water wheels. Unless, like I said, there's some kind of weird, funky collision going on up there because I don't think we're actually meant to be up there. That would prevent us from doing so. So we'd have we'd have to build a ramp structure to get up there to determine that. Okay, well, one thing we could do is we could just make a whole bunch of a whole bunch more fat ramps. You know, that certainly wouldn't be the the permanent solution, but we could try it and just see what happens. So I've got six on me right now. Uh, two. Do you have? Whoops. Do you have anything in your inventory? Here, let's take that out. And no, that's not what I wanted to do. It's happening again. Why am I having such a hard time dropping stuff? I don't remember that being an issue before. Okay, so that'll get us a, a little bit lighter here. And then to make the... Let's see, we want to go to inventory. No, crafting. We just need a bunch of fiber and a bunch of sticks. Okay, so... Let's just gather that stuff up. Keep our lantern off for now um, so we can save our fuel. That gives us 72 sticks. Man, we are out of space here. Let's consume those berries. Let's give, uh, get two topped off, and then I think I'm gonna just ditch these soybeans because we can easily get more food for him later. We just need a little more space here. While I'm thinking about it, let's also give him some water. Or her, as the case may be. I haven't checked to see whether two is a, a her or a he. Don't particularly want to either, to be honest with you. So, anyway. Okay, let's get some fiber. Alright, and then let's just make a metric butt ton of, of these ramps. You know, it's funny. The one time, the one and only time, 
when I actually want a storm... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. We're dropping... Why aren't those going down here? Uh, the one and only time that we actually want a storm, it doesn't show up. What's up with that? You are adding to that, right? Okay. Why wasn't that going on our toolbar? Oh, I guess it doesn't go on the toolbar. All right. And 20 is the max. Oh, now it does. It must just favor the other the other over that. Okay. So, to get up there with a ramp system, um... I wonder if it would be easier to do that from the other side. So, why it's important to me that the waterfall base is protected is because then we could build a really nice wood base and not worry about it getting jacked up in the storm. Because that's exactly what we'll do if we if we end up doing this. We'll make a we'll make a, a and I'm talking about the nice wood, you know, not the not the crappy log stuff, but the but the nice wood. Okay, so, hmm, why don't we see, and I know these ramps are going to get messed up when the first storm comes, but I, you know, that's, that's all right. I, I'll, I just want to get up there for now just to see if this is even going to work. even feasible, you know. Okay, so let's keep... So we can get kind of down to here. Hmm. That's not a lot of room. It might let us set a water wheel there. There's no way for me to tell because I can't make one without all my my tech. It's possible that it would one would fit there though. Alright, let's do this. Let's um Whoa! Okay. <laughs> uh, let's grab this. And jump up here. And then see if we can... Alright, we might have to do this. There we go. Oh, shit! Okay. Health is low, you don't say. Where am I? I'm I'm stuck like underneath the waterfall. Okay, there's my ramps. Um alright, we better take one of these. And uh Do I not know how to make a splint? Yeah, no. Wait, what? Did we not learn splint? We need to learn splint. We didn't learn splint. Well, we have now. I 
I can't make rope though because I don't have a tool bench, so that didn't do us a whole lot of good. Yeah, I'm good and stuck. All right, we're going to have to do this. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Wait a minute, what? No. Uh-oh. This is not good, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good. I am, like, stuck, and I can't get unstuck without going back to the pod. All oh, for Pete's sake. Seriously? Gotta be kidding me. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Hmm. There, let's eat a cooked giant steak because that's what you do when you get stuck underneath the waterfall. Is you eat a juicy steak. Son of a... Okay, we're in a bit of a conundrum here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I can't seem to, I, I can jump, but I can't, like, move laterally. I'm just plain stuck. If we... What if I crouch? Nope, that doesn't do any good. If we do the unstuck and it takes us all the way back to the pod, two is going to almost certainly die. Which is going to suck. And let's see, two's got a bunch of gold on him. I mean, that that's something we can recoup later. Uh, fortunately, I have the titanium on me. Well, I don't know what else to do, guys. I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to do it. Oh, this is terrible. We didn't even determine if we could... Um, you know, if, if the cave is protected from the storm... Well, I guess we gotta have to do it. Son of a bitch. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, we're good. Okay, we're good. I thought it meant it would take me back to my pod. Way back at the Ring Lake. Um, can we just not move because we're heavy, though? I mean, we're not that heavy. I'm still stuck. I wouldn't be able to jump like this if I was that heavy. I don't think. Here, let's just temporarily drop these. Oh, yeah, I guess I was that heavy. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's sort by weight. There's no way I'm going to get rid of those. These we can easily recoup. Can I move now? Nope. Uh, I don't really need the polar bear stuff that bad. We have... We can get rid of those. There. Now I can finally walk. Okay, can I pick those back up? All right, so this isn't so bad after all. Uh, um, because here again, I was I was interpreting that to mean that we would have to go all the way back to our, our drop pot. And that would have been no bueno. Okay, let's try this again. Um, and two's over there, so she's fine. He's fine. It's fine. But I need to make some more ramps you know what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a fire pit so I can store some stuff in it because we're just too heavy um and okay so to make the fire pit we need where's the fire pit at right here I need 25 wood and 100 stone Okay, do we have 25 wood? Yes. All right, now we just need to get 100 stone. Okay, so let's craft this. Okay. 
Now, let's do a sort by weight. And we'll put that in there, we'll put that in there. I don't want, I want to keep my meds with me. We can put all the bones in there, we don't need that stone. Put that stuff in there. Okay, that gives us in a little bit better shape here. Now, let's go make some more ram uh, ramps and then see if we can continue working our way up there. Two, I want you to follow me. There you go. Okay, I suppose we can finish harvesting this so we get the, the sticks more than the wood. There we go. Okay, now let's go... Uh, let's proceed with making some more of these. And we're going to need... Now, yeah, we didn't really get that many sticks from that, so... Let's get some more fiber and some more sticks from saplings. There's some corn for you, too. We'll pick that and get, give it to you later. No more saplings? All right, let's just see how many more we can of these we can make now. 29, all right, that should be plenty. Oh, okay, so we're going to put the... Once we get a full stack of ramps, we'll put the first stack back on our toolbar. And we're going to have to go up a little different direction than we did. I, I was hoping I could kind of hop up there before the ramps collapsed, but obviously that didn't work out too well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this so we continue to have support. And that gets us up to here. Ooh, there's a lot of room up here. Okay, so I wonder, here again, I wonder if the game considers this moving water. And for purposes of putting a, uh, you know, water wheels down. There's not really any way to tell without going and building a water wheel and then coming back here. You know what would be really cool, though, is we could, we could build like a concrete stair well up here so you know it doesn't get ruined in the storms and we could actually build part of our base up here too man the possibilities you guys the possibilities anything we built out here would of course need to be concrete but it's all doable And that, that continues going up even further. But my guess is that, you know, another weird thing. This isn't even water, actually. It's just a, it's just an animated texture because I'm not even underwater here. Hmm, that could be a problem. That could be a deal breaker as far as the water wheels go. I mean, th you know, that doesn't preclude us from doing it, though. I'm just... It would be nice if we could use water wheels, but we don't have to. We can still, you know, we can set up a crap ton of solar panels eventually and use the jennies. But yeah, this isn't actually water. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Well, I think for now... I'm going to just leave this ramp here until we can confirm uh, for 100% that water wheels will not work up there. I'm going to say I don't think they will because that's not actually water. But and maybe they will. I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and we will do that when the time comes. All right. Where's my emu? Oh, here he is. He's been trying to follow us the whole time. Okay. Well, we, we went an entire day, it seems like, without a storm. How unusual is that? Maybe there was a storm 
right before I ended the last episode. I don't remember. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so now what we want to find out is are we protected from the storm exposure inside the waterfall cave? We should be, but it really just depends upon how the game, you know, if the game considers this shelter or not. So let's wait until storm exposure starts and then we'll, we'll get that question answered as soon as that happens. Okay, so we are in the middle part of the storm and we're not taking any exposure, which is good. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we have exposure there. But back here, we don't. Well, that's weird. Yeah, as soon as we get right about... Okay, we're protected here. If we go straight ahead this way to... Okay, we can go quite a ways this direction. Then there's storm exposure here. Well, it answers the question though. There's not a there's not enough protection in here. Yeah, see there's no protection over here. A little bit. Not enough to, to build the base completely out of wood. Which is kind of disappointing. Because that's one of the things that kind of appealed to me about doing that. But it is what it is, so I guess if we're gonna do this, it's gonna have to be concrete because I do not want to have to deal with storm damage. It's just not something that I want to do. But at least we confirmed it. So I guess the question now is, can we put water wheels down anywhere around here, whether it be at the top of the waterfall or somewhere else? If any of you guys have a base in this area or even here, and you can confirm that for me, I would appreciate that because otherwise the only way I'm going to know that is I'm going to have to go all the way back to the base, the main base, build a water wheel and bring it all the way back here or or wait until I have enough of a base built up here to, to make one and then try it that way. But that again, that doesn't mean we're not going to do it. It just means that we can't build a wood base on, underneath here. So it's going to have to be concrete. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna let you go here. I gotta get ready for the live stream. And um, I hope some of you guys will see the notification and come and, and join me and uh, several other people from my community. And we're gonna do some sticks missions. And we're gonna, I don't know if we'll have time to get to Zephyr, but if we if, if we can, we will. And then that should theoretically, from what I understand, unlock the blocked passage back up here this passage here which will allow us to easily get through to the Great River Basin instead of having to come all the way around here like we did before. Alright, that is it for this episode. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode too. Did you enjoy this episode? I'm not sure if you did or not. <laughs> and uh, If you did, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.